Sunday, everybody. I'm just sitting here in my garden, enjoying a nice drink and watching my seedlings grow. It didn't have much else to do this week in the garden. It rained almost the majority of the whole week. Everything got really, really, really saturated. Uh, so when I finally was able to come out at the end of the week and sort of clean up everything, it all looked very pitiful. But now that it has had a couple days to dry out, it is, uh, everything is looking much better. And uh, it's gonna be a quick garden tour this, this week. So uh, why don't we just get started and I'll show you what I've done. Do you like my new garden enhancer? Isn't it awesome? I was looking for just the right thing to put here and my husband found this and brought it home for me and it is, uh, it's been sitting here since the beginning of the week. I haven't had a chance to kind of clean it up, but I love this sort of old look to it. I think it fits in well with the garden and all the other little trinkets and garden enhancers that I've been picking up and having fun with. So why don't we go ahead and take a look at this seedling. Oh, another nice thing here is this is the tomato wall from the vertical garden. And look, it's as tall as me now. It's doing so well. I'm very, very, very happy. This is exactly what I wanted to happen over here, but that didn't happen. But that's not what we're gonna talk about now. We're gonna talk about the seedlings. Look at all the little wildflowers. Now I planted these just about a week ago. Look at the nice bees there. Wonderful, wonderful. We love to see that. And um, they think they were seven to ten days sprouting, so I still have some more to come up. But they are sprouting, so that's exciting. These are the sunflowers that I planted. I know I'm a little late in the season for this stuff, um, and I've been kind of a little late on everything as I, uh, as I have started my garden. But we're going to get caught up real soon, and I'm going to spend some time here and plan out. There's not much I can do in Zone 10B in the middle of summer. It's just a matter of keeping what you got going. There's some more sunflowers. And, uh, but I'm going to plan ahead for the winter. And uh, we'll see how productive we can't get. But all of the flowers, they're sprouting everywhere. And so what I did here on these tomato uh, plants is I just went, and actually on Thursday, I went through the whole garden and caught off everything that was dead. So I'm hoping, I do on some of these see new growth coming up, um, like down here. So I'm hoping that's what's gonna happen. I'm hoping these will go ahead and come back and have sort of a second life like the vertical garden did over there. I mean, why not, right? All right, these guys are kind of gone, though. They didn't really make it. They were the really tiny little ones. Um, so I still have to decide what I'm going to plant there in place of it. But I have some more sunflowers here. So those are nice. And I was correct in the fact that the bunny is over here eating all of the little pepper sprouts. So that's fine, because that is the bunny's area. Here are the tomato plants, and you can see how much different they look from last week. I really went through and trimmed them up which is nice because you come out, you get your hands on your stuff, you find the insects and the worms and the caterpillars, and, and then this makes it a lot easier to see them. So, yeah, it looks like I'll have lots of cherry tomatoes for tonight. Here is the beefsteak tomato, and it has gotten much taller since last week. I keep swearing I see flowers, but then I don't, so, yeah, we're just going to keep waiting on that one. And, uh tomatoes here's the the Roma plant was just really almost all dead so it here it is all cleaned up and I've got one little tomato tomato here and I've got this one here that uh, the little critter left and didn't take when he took all the rest of them so somehow maintain although I thought I had six and I only count five my Romas and this one here I'm just gonna let try it's the biggest one I've ever had so I'm gonna see if it'll actually ripen well, somebody was busy in the rain. I have one Roma tomato left, and the big one is gone. Yep, thinking our friend the raccoon came for a visit. The lemon balm is coming back though, look. Yay, bucket of love, bucket of love. The peppers are doing the same thing, tons of flowers, but no peppers. And over here, there's one dill plant and a couple others. Maybe? No? Yes? 
yes, we'll see how those do. But look at here, look at the boots. Look at the wildflowers. They're coming up and along. These strawberries we have definitely just had issues with. I do have a little bit of new growth right there, so we'll see what happens. But it has been very disappointing so far. Uh, barely can see some sprouts coming up from the lettuce that I planted last week. The peas are still green, so that's always good. The lettuce, I'm going to go ahead and finish picking off these little seed pods here. And I'm trying to decide when I look down this bucket if all those little things I see are actually new lettuce growing from the seeds that have fallen. So that may change my mind about what I'm going to do with that bucket. This was my attempt to save these <laughs> lettuce plants after all the days of pouring rain. It was just, I thought I had completely lost everything. But, um, but I think I'll, get, I'll still get maybe a week or more out of these Oh, the raspberry bush. I'm not sure that I'm seeing anything good on this raspberry bush. It just, yeah. So we're going to give it another week, see what happens. But I think after that, if nothing happens, then it's not going to make it. The carrots and the carrots, the broccoli. The broccoli I did cut back. But you can see here how the new growth in some of these is just. So I'm hoping it's just because it got really wet. Um, so we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, so I told you it'd be a quick little tour. I am very happy with how my garden's going. I am making it sort of a more relaxing atmosphere than just being productive. So I'm looking at the flowers and the table and chairs and all the little knickknacks as my garden enhancers to enhance my garden and my life. <laughs> okay, I know that was a little corny. But anyway, I'm really happy you guys stopped by. I hope that next week I have some more fun stuff to show you. So in the meantime, please go and have a great week and try to move forward in these tough times that we have and carve out a little space for yourself where you can just escape everything else that's going on and have a peaceful moment for yourself. I hope that for all of you. If you have that, please let me know down below. I'd love to hear what you're doing in your garden or your yard or anything outside around your house to find some peace these days. So thanks again for stopping by. Make sure to come back next Sunday and we'll see you real soon. Break it down the set.